That was truly a day that altered our times. 1948, KPIX went on the air. The Beatles are just minutes away from the Bay Area tonight. We Amazing memories, and this Friday, CBS News Bay Area celebrates our 75th anniversary. We were the first television broadcast station in Northern California. All this week, we're opening up our film archives. And tonight, here's a little holiday treat for all the Trekkies out there. On May 25th, 1973, actor Leonard Nimoy, who played Spock in the TV series Star Trek, came by our studios. KPX 5's Belva Davis asked him about the reality of science fiction, given that just 11 days earlier, the first U.S. space station Skylab was launched into space. Do you find that reality, though, what with Skylab and so on, is coming awfully close to the kinds of things that we enjoy? Yes, this, you see, that's a good point. When we started making the show in 1966, we'd not yet been to the moon. And at that point, people were saying, oh, it's so far out. Well, while we were doing the show, we had men landing on another planet. We really did that. You know, you look, look out at night and see this other planet and know that there were human beings up there. So the show started to, to come into focus in a strange new way. Suddenly people said, oh, wait a minute. Now we're sending a, a ship into space with three people on it. Uh, how long ago was it that Orville and Wilbur Wright just barely got, a, got an aircraft off the ground for a couple hundred feet and we called that flight? And now today we send three or four hundred people around in an, air, in an aircraft. If we can send three men to the moon, we can put a, a spaceship into space just like the Enterprise with a crew of 400 if we want to. If there's a need to do it, we can do it. What a classic interview that is. Nimoy would go on to star in two movies based in San Francisco, Invasion of the Body Snatchers and Star Trek The Voyage Home. He died in 2015.